Hi everyone, this is Miss Anne, and today we are going to talk about an app called Sprite Box Coding uh, Hour of Coding. So, um, right now we're starting on Common Sense Media. They have more reviews uh, after we kind of review it today. If you want more information, you can come to uh, commonsensemedia.org. So, Sprite Box Hour of Coding um, is generally good for ages seven and older. Um, it is teaching. Uh, coding, but specifically it's teaching synt uh, Java syntax. And so it's, you know, teaching those those basic principles in a really fun way. It mimics uh, popular platform style games, kind of like Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario. And the coding puzzles exist as obstacles to overcome. So you're kind of overcoming these little obstacles by doing the coding. Um, it is available on Apple iOS. Android, and there is an online web flash enabled um, option. And if you come to spritebox.com slash hour, they, ha uh, they also have a teacher's guide. So let's go right into it. Yay, Spritebox. This is your little avatar on the left. You can change it, boy, girl, uh, different hairstyles. You can change the skin color, you know, whatever you want to make him or her look like. Uh, and we'll, we'll go with her. On the right hand side, uh, this option, the left is does a basic block option, great for younger users. The right is what we're going to stick to. It's actually teaching um, Java syntax in a very step by step format. So we'll keep that out. But uh, you can switch it to make it a little easier, a little easier to understand. So let's press play. So to move our avatar right down here, right left, and then this is jump. And so you're going to jump right into the first level. So there's two missions here. You're collecting all the stars. They're kind of like your, your money if you've ever played like Super Mario Brothers or like coins. So they're the first object you want to kind of achieve and get. Yeah, there we go. And then the second thing is you're going to meet a block creature. Here he is. He's going to help you code. So when you click on him, there you go. Hey, I'm Sprite. Looks like you could use some help. So he's going to help you layer the code because as you can see behind him, we can't jump that high to get up to here where all the rest of the coins are. So he's going to help us. I could actually use some help myself. Some of my friends are trapped around here, the little sprites here, if you can free them. I'll help you get to the finish flag. Deal. Press play and step aside. So he shows you how to do things step by step. Right now, he has already set all the code in motion. Next time, he's going to show you a new aspect that you can do. So it's really, really step by step process. See, there he goes. And now he's setting them. So he moves, sets, moves, and sets. And now, look, we. We can get up here and now we found the sprites. So the second objective here is you're trying to find all five of these little sprites to help him out as you go. And so there's another one. And now this one, pretty cool of you to free my buddy back there. I guess helping you wasn't a complete waste of time. Here, you can uh, tell me what to do. If you give me a set instruction, I'll place a block. And then drag it over and set instruction, then press play. So now he's telling you how to do the next part before he already had it pre-coded. Now you can set. So again, it's step by step. And as, as you go through the levels, it gets harder and harder. And now you press play and there he goes. He sets. When he sets, he drops down a little block. Um, so downsides of this, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of hints for kids. So children, kids might get uh, stuck and then get frustrated. So that's a downside. Um, and the storyline is not terribly deep, but again, this is teaching a basic Java syntax and a lot of games, um, you know, aren't teaching that specific thing. So it's really cool. And look, we've done another thing. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for my little app review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please tell us uh, what you think of this app if you get a chance to play it. Um, I hope you guys are staying, uh, staying home, staying calm and staying safe. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.